Hi everyone, this is Rubens Gardelli from Gardelli Specialty Coffees and I'm here to present you the new entry of the week uh, and it's from Yemen. I'm very excited because I only release once, one lot every year, every crop and this one was standing, really standing out on the cupping table from many different suppliers, uh, different samples and even auction lots. I had the, the privilege to, to try and to taste roast and taste and this one was really in my opinion the best on the table that's why i bought it that's why i'm offering it to you and this lot is coming from a little village called bani al haref i hope i pronounce it well and it's like uh, around 15 kilometers west of aras so aras is the name of the terroir the area and they are Mm, this uh, lot was uh, mm, produced by 20 little farmers that uh, is, mm, the cherries make, made up this lot and they are um, like uh, harvesting plant, planted a variety that the supplier told uh, wrote that is called jahadi but I made some research and I found out that there is not really a scientific genetic uh, um, like uh, name of the variety they are cultivating because they refer of different names but it's, the variety is the same that is why on the website you find a, a Yemen unknown variety and that's the reason why they are still making some researches about uh, uh, how to give the proper name of this variety the only thing that I know is the, the beans are really small like I, so I believe it's uh, like really linked to kind of barbon not typical because generally typical is a big bean then you will see if we buy it uh, small beans so this lot was uh, picked and uh, processed using the carbonic maceration or as known as anaerobic fermentation uh, and i call anaerobic nectar because uh, this lot the cherries were picked uh, at the perfect stage of ripeness and then brought to a facility of the um, how can you say the exporter facility where uh, they have like a warehouse or fermentation fermenting station where they place into a sealed tanks and um, the hair is removed so the cherries are placed into the sealed tanks and the hair is removed through uh, carbon carbon dioxide dioxide and through and they are they declare to leave the cherries inside these sealed tanks for uh, four or five days and then uh, they are simply dried uh, over a raised bed and this process usually uh, it is uh, highly risky uh, for covering uh, the true terroir of any given coffee any given um, produ pro 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 product and uh, but this, in this case, why I, I, I bought it is because it's really showcasing the true terral of what I know is to be the best expression of Harasi. Because I've been able to um, taste in my previous crop, previous, uh, uh, years, a uh, different lot from Haras. And I already, you know, I, that's in my memory, the, 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 the true terral of, of this uh, uh, of this uh, produ production so anyway and this you can expect uh, from this cup crop from this coffee a high sweetness uh, with a strong note of strawberry uh, white raisin and dried dates along with the finish of black tea and the acidity you will see is like yeah you still it's an aerobic fermentation but it's very high and it's partly due to the high elevation uh, that is common in in yemen so this specifically has been declared between 1700 so 1700 meters up to 2100 meters and this for sure helps to slow down the maturation of the cherries, increasing the complexity of the flavors and the, the, the acidity, the strong acidity, which is always uh, something favorable, favorable uh, in the specialty coffee. All right, so 
I hope you are going to enjoy this new arrival and uh, it's really limited uh, uh, limited uh, like quantity uh, it's under vacuum so you may expect a long shelf life also because they have been dried using shade drying so um, you may expect to find it in two three months up from starting from now all right thanks a lot for watching and see you next time bye